At Teeth on 3D, we sell a variety of materials which are capable of going from a green state or pre-fired to a bis state or fired when heated in a kiln or oven. When going through this process, the print will shrink and this amount can be anywhere between 4 and 17%. To account for this, in our Teeth Unware software, we will need to use the first scaling category which is Scale by Factor. The most basic option will let you scale uniformly in all directions, so, for example, if your material you are using shrinks 12%, you will want to change the setting to 1.12 and click Apply. For materials like vitrolite that shrink much more in the Z dimension than the X or Y, you will want to utilize the second option in this category, which is Scale per Direction. For the X and Y, we will scale to 1.09, and for Z, we will scale to 1.14, to account for the extra shrinkage. Be aware that both the orientation in which the object was printed and the orientation in which it's being fired can have an effect on the scale and some trial and error will be needed. The second scaling category is Scale to Fix Size. Sometimes when bringing a file in from one program to another, its scale can change depending on the units the software uses. This option will allow you to scale the object to a specific size by the dimension of your choice. Turning off scale proportionally will allow you to stretch the model in the individual X, Y, or Z axes. The last scaling category is Scale to Build Platform. This allows you to scale the object as large as possible in its current orientation. You can even set padding if you want to keep your model a certain distance from the edge of the build platform. Using the Scale to Place Multiple Items option will have Teethenware calculate an approximate maximum size for printing a specified number of objects. For both of these, changing the orientation can change the final result. Given that many factors can affect how the object shrinks in the kiln or you may in fact be creating a new material, you will need to find the shrink rate of the material on your own. One way you can find the shrinkage in the z-dimension is by scaling a model incrementally vertically, like you see here. You may also have an object with fine details that you may need to work with other objects like the threads on the nut you see here. What you'll want to do for this is scale it up 1% multiple times. The one that threads best with the intended matching bolt will be your best estimate for shrinkage. Thank you for watching this video and please check out the other tutorials on our channel. If you have any questions, please email us at support at teethon3d.com.